Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU and today I'm going to teach you guys how to jailbreak iOS 9.3.3, the latest public firmware, using the Pangu PP Combination app that I actually highlighted in yesterday's jailbreak tutorial. The only difference is to date we do not need a computer, so you don't have to worry about getting Windows if you have a Mac or getting on a lower version of Windows if it's not compatible with your build of Windows 10. Nope, we just need Safari and we can jailbreak successfully, at least right now. That brings up the couple of caveats that I need to mention. So first and foremost, this does utilize a developer enterprise certificate to actually install the app because the app needs to be signed somehow, right? In yesterday's tutorial, what we were doing is utilizing that PP helper tool to actually self sign it using our own Apple ID. However, you can distribute things using a developer enterprise certificate off of the app store, which is what this jailbreak utilizes so long as the certificate is still active. But once Apple revokes it, you will not be able to use this method to jailbreak. You'll have to utilize the computer method. So in your cards right now, there will be a link to my previous jailbreak tutorial of how to get this on a computer. So down below in the description, you will also find that link if you're on mobile. Just be sure to watch the video on desktop though, that way you can actually download it and get everything started. Also click the subscribe button next to my channel name if you have yet to, that way you will be updated anytime I release new videos concerning potential new developer certificates that may sign it once these ones are revoked, as well as updates to the Pangu jailbreak. Now, supported devices. This jailbreak supports the iPhone 5S, iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus, iPhone 6S, iPhone 6S Plus, iPhone SE, iPod Touch 6 Gen, iPad Mini 2, Mini 3, Mini 4, iPad Air, iPad Air 2, and iPad Pro. However, iPad iPod Touch 6 Gen as well as iPad Pro owners will have to wait for an update from Pangu because currently they're not really compatible with this jailbreak, but they will be at some point. 32-bit owners, however, unfortunately, you will not be able to jailbreak. Let's hope and keep our fingers crossed that Pangu adds retroactive support for 32-bit devices. This will also function on iOS 9.2 up to 9.3.3. I definitely recommend updating to the latest firmware though, if you have yet to. However, once Apple stops signing 9.3.3, you will not be able to update to it, so just stay where you're at. So once a new firmware past 9.3.3 is released, don't update if you're on an older version. All right, so now let's get into this on the iPhone 6 Plus. Huge shout out to iMoclis though, he actually put this together with his developer enterprise certificate that that he has access to and he signed it that way for you guys to install it. Of course, Pangu themselves for actually creating the jailbreak and Black Geek tutorial for hosting the download and finding signed versions. So what you need to do again is just open up Safari on your device and navigate to jailbreakme9.com. It's as simple as that. Now, while this isn't reminiscent of Jailbreak Me, I just wanted to provide something that's easy for you guys to remember. I've compiled everything here on this domain, jailbreakme9.com. Before hastily clicking on download now, though, I definitely recommend reading through the important info first. So I'll just let you guys do that on your own. Now, however, we can go ahead and click download now for this demonstration, followed by install. Remember, this is using a developer enterprise certificate, so we actually have to trust it inside of the settings app before we can open it. I'm going to show you guys what happens when you try to open it without first having trusted that certificate. So let's go ahead and tap on it. As you can see, it says untrusted enterprise developer. That's just because we have yet to trust it. That doesn't mean anything's wrong with it. It's the same one that's delivered through the PP help tool by Pangu. So now I want you guys to go ahead and launch up the settings application followed by general and then go ahead and scroll down until you see device management and then the enterprise app that is listed here tap inside of it followed by tapping on trust and then trust again just to confirm that. Now we can go ahead and press the home button and swipe on over to the PP app. And just like previously, you need to okay notifications. This is absolutely paramount that you allow notifications from this application, otherwise it will not process correctly. Now at this point, you kind of just wanna wait inside of the app for about 20 seconds before tapping inside of the circle. That way it will just 100% ensure the success of this. Okay, so now that the time's up, we're gonna go ahead and tap it, and after about five seconds, you wanna lock your device. 
All right, so we can go ahead and lock it right now. And I'm going to press the home button and we should receive a notification. As you can see, it is in Chinese, but it does say Cydia. That means it's actually processing the jailbreak successfully and it is installing Cydia onto your devices. So this is a really awesome method of jailbreaking, guys. I'm super pumped for it. Be sure to leave a like on this video if you definitely appreciate the work of Pangu as well as iMoclis for signing this thing. So I'm just pressing the home button here just to show you guys that we are still on the lock screen. All right, now you can leave it on the lock screen or you can unlock it just so long as you do not exit out of the PP app. Just kind of let it do its thing. I'm going to be periodically pressing the home button just to show you guys. Your device will automatically reboot once it's done. So let's just go ahead and wait for that. I'm going to leave it up on your screens though so you can see approximately how long it should take. All right, so after waiting for a while, I decided to unlock it. Remember though, the choice is up to you. And what's interesting is that when we actually tap on this PP app, you don't need to do this by the way, I'm just showing you for a demonstration. It says untrusted developer during the actual jailbreak process. Don't worry about going inside of the settings app and retrusting the developer. If you happen to do that yourself, that's fine. Your device will eventually display the Apple logo. Just go ahead and wait for it. All right, now swiping over to the second page, you'll notice that we do have Cydia. So let's go ahead and open it up and scrolling down to the bottom, I'm going to show you guys that it does confirm we are on 9.3.3. All right, so as you can see for the identifying text at the bottom of Cydia, it says iPhone 7 comma 1 or iPhone 6 plus iOS 9.3.3 Cydia 1.1.27. And when we actually go to the changes section after we refresh it, so let's go ahead and do that first. I'm going to remove these two repos here because we don't need them. It just takes up time when we're actually performing our refresh. So you will now notice that we do have all available packages inside of the changes section from the main repositories right about now. All right, so as you can see, here we go, and we can actually install them. I'm not going to install one though. You guys can install the tweaks that you want, but just keep in mind that you need to be vigilant. If you install an incompatible tweak, it could force you into a restore. So try to avoid installing things that haven't been updated in a while. Most packages that were updated for iOS 9.1, however, should work. Now, one final thing that I need to mention is that just like yesterday, if you happen to reboot your device, you're going to need to go inside of the PP app again in, and you're going to have to reutilize it to actually get everything functioning because this is a semi untethered jailbreak, so to speak. So it will have to reapply the patch for you to actually be able to use Cydia or anything that you've obtained via Cydia. So now I'm going to show you guys how to do that and what to do once your device reboots. But this is absolutely key. Keep in mind that once this developer enterprise certificate is revoked, you will no longer be able to use this application. So when that happens, what you need to do is is just delete it, but do not delete it until you can no longer use it. Don't worry, you'll get an alert when you try to use it. So at that point, you need to delete it. After you delete it, you need to use the computer method that is detailed in the description. Keep that in mind, that's absolutely paramount. All right, so I'm going to reboot it, turn it back on, and show you guys what you need to do following a reboot. Okay, so now that we're back up, let's slide to unlock, tap OK to the no similar, swipe over, and you'll notice when we try to launch Cydia, it immediately crashes. That's fine, that's because again, this is semi-untethered, so to speak, so we have to reapply a portion of it utilizing the PP app. So once you reboot, open the PP app and leave it open for about 20 to 30 seconds before you do anything. Remember, if you can't open the app, you need to delete it and reinstall it using the computer method, unfortunately. All right, so now that we've waited long enough, we can go ahead and tap inside of the circle and then wait about five seconds and then lock your device. Once you lock your device, you should receive a notification on the lock screen. If you do, you are good to go. It should then just throw up the Apple logo and once it comes back up, you can use Cydia and anything you've obtained via Cydia. So sliding to unlock there, we actually got another Apple logo. Let's go ahead and wait for that. 
and we're at the lock screen again. So let's slide over to unlock, tap OK to the no SIM and swipe over. And now we can launch and use Cydia and anything that's obtained via Cydia. If your device happens to hang at the Apple logo or it comes back up and you can't use Cydia, then you just need to reboot again. I recommend just using the home and power buttons together, hold them down until you see the Apple logo or until the Apple logo shuts off if you're already at it and it pops back up, then you can just reuse that PP app. All right, guys, now that's everything you need to know to how to jailbreak iOS 9.3.3 and lower without a computer on your device. Be sure to drop this video a like if you appreciate it. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Of course, subscribe if you have yet to. That way you'll be notified when I release new jailbreak tutorials as well as update videos. And just like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the iCrack Your iDevice community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.